Hey guys, so I am going to be testing out two sunscreens over the course of a few um, days, possibly a couple of weeks, and um, one sunscreen hasn't gotten here yet. It is a vegan sunscreen from Tiny Yellow Bungalow that I ordered, and then the other one is Badger, and it is 40 SPF, and then it is water resistant, and um, it is also clear zinc sunscreen, and I am going to be testing this one out over this weekend while I am at the beach, and so although it's not vegan because it has beeswax in it, it still is, um, non-GMO, cruelty-free, and it still has a lot of other, um, like if you look on the back, it has a lot of other certifications and this one is from Earth Hero and it, Badger is a very is a small business and it is unscented which I like because I feel like banana boat and a lot of those tend to smell and I like feel like I smell like it for days afterwards which is something that I did not like and one of my goals in looking for a sunscreen to replace just like the classic sunscreen is getting one that doesn't smell as like strong but also getting one that has a good SPF is water resistant and then that like is also like easy to travel with and won't just like spill out and so I am excited to try these out for you guys and let you know how what I think this is what I was using beforehand just because I just did not like using banana boat and it's blue lizard it's 30 plus spf and it's water resistant and it's also reef safe which badger is as well but i'm just like it's not my favorite and it doesn't like i have i know people who have borrowed it who um have skin that is lighter than mine that it did not work for and I'm not a fan of that because personally I want something that is gonna work well because even I burn and I tend to tan naturally so I am definitely a fan of sunscreen that does the job especially because I do have spots from previous surgeries for getting a Vegas nerve simulator which is one of the surgeries you can get for epilepsy I like actually have spots that like if I don't put sunscreen on them, I am at risk for skin cancer. So I like, of course, like any person need to like put sunscreen on that spot so that I don't, you know, end up getting skin cancer. So over the course of the few weeks and, you know, once I get the sunscreen from Tiny Yellow Bungalow, I will also try that one out and I can't wait to tell you what I think of both and which one I prefer and which one, you know, I think was better. And so I will let you know how it goes. Yeah. So I am going to put the sunscreen on because I'm getting ready to go to the beach. And so it has like, it's very thick and it doesn't, it's not liquid or fall out. Kind of like normal sunscreens in the plastic bottle tend to be very liquidy and so I am going to try putting some on my face and I just took it and went like that and I definitely want to make sure I get my face because my face and my shoulders burn very easily so gotta make sure to get all that and I will test it out today and let you guys know how it goes. Now, if you don't three. Hey guys, so I'm back and so I have tested out the sunscreen for one day already and I wanted to talk about my experience so far, but I also um, I'm going to test it out today because I'm going to the beach again, but so far I like it a lot and because it's 
thicker you don't use as much which i really like because i feel like the sunscreen in a plastic bottle you tend to use way more than you like would expect to use and so i like that you don't use a lot and then i also for the most part it stayed in my skin and it did not um like come out or like get too watery I like would notice a couple places where it did get a little watery but I mean I also was sweating a lot because it is the beach and it is like 90 something degrees so it makes sense that that's nor I mean because that's normal when it's summer so I like it a lot so far and I'm going to continue to test it out and I will let you know how it is Hey guys, so I am testing out the second sunscreen and it is called Elevated and it is SPF 30, it is vegan, it is 100% natural and it is herb friendly and made in the USA. And I am so excited to test this out for you. The other one is not vegan because it has beeswax in it and I will make sure to put a video below in case you guys want to know more about why beeswax is not vegan. I like only can really explain it a little bit. It's, you know, just because like when bees are, you know, used to make honey, their stains are taken off and vegans choose to believe that that is not ethical. And so most vegans or vegans who choose not to take in honey believe that that is not an ethical way of making honey and so we usually use octave nectar or you know dates or something along those lines to sweeten our um flavors or maybe we don't even like use anything because i mean honestly a lot of things are sweet on their own anyways so i will link a video below just because i want to make sure that I am getting it across to you the best I can. And I feel I've only been vegan for a little over six months, maybe longer than that because I did go vegetarian in the summer. I can definitely do a video on like my process of going vegetarian to vegan and all that if you'd want me to, but that of course is off topic and not what this video is about. And so I am testing this one out today and this is from the Tiny Yellow Bungalow Shop, which I'm so excited to tell you I am affiliated with. And so now you can go shop from her shop. And I am so excited for you if you want to test out the sunscreen or test out some of the cloth pads I've shown you before or some of the facial skincare products I've shown or any of the other products, definitely go check them out because they are awesome and I will stand by her research and products that she puts in her, you know, shop because she really works really hard to find the right product to support and she always supports small businesses and she's a small business and I like, and I mean, she also has a family that she's supporting. So you would be supporting a family. She has an adorable little kid that she posts on like her Instagram. And I love watching all the stuff like he does. And so it is like, and they have chicken. And so definitely go check them out. <laughs> but today we are going to test this out. And just like the other one, it doesn't fall out or anything, which that is so cool. So I am taking some out. And putting it on my face. This one actually does have a little bit of a scent to it. It so it has lavender in it and I think that's what I smell. I am lavender for me smells very strong and I think that's what I smell. I don't know if my face looks purple, but maybe I'm just like imagining it. But 
maybe it's just because I am very like lavender is one of those things that I'm kind of iffy on but I also was like super like I so want to try this out and just like see you know what it's like I like when I first learned about this sunscreen, I was very iffy about it because I'm not a super big lavender person, but I know a lot of people are. So I was like, also kind of like for this video, was like, I so want to try it out just for the sake of, I know a lot of you out there love lavender. So let me know in the comments if you love lavender or if you are like me and don't care a whole lot for it. I of course am going to use it up even if I end up not liking it, but I don't know. I'm going to test it out for a couple more days and I can see that I definitely still have some, um, it still needs to be rubbed in a little bit more, but that's okay. But I plan to really only put this on my face. Um, probably put it on here too um like i mentioned in my video already this is where part of my biggest nerve stimulator is and so it's really important to put sunscreen on there and i'm sure if any of you have had like any kind of surgeries or anything like that you understand completely or if you're like a nurse or a doctor so but i will see you guys tomorrow and I will let you know how I'm liking it. And see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm back. And it is the second day of me trying the elevated sunscreen. And so, so far, I think it works very well. And I will say one weird thing was that my boyfriend thought that I had eyeshadow on and I don't know if it was just that that for some reason like it was just like that particular day I just had like my eye just looked different or if maybe it was a sunscreen so but I don't know it could be one thing or another so we're gonna try it again today and then I'm also gonna try it tomorrow so I'm gonna put it on I am going out to lunch with my mom. I am so excited to try the place. And she's actually been wanting to try the place too. We're gonna try this place called Organic Crush. They have a lot of vegan options and they have like quinoa and stuff like that, which she loves. I'm not a big quinoa person, but she really loves it. And I'm more of a rice girl, so. I'm gonna put this on my face. And I wanted to exercise today, but I just like had such a hard time getting myself to eat breakfast. Just, I don't know. I also like was very lazy this morning when it came to like getting myself to, you know, even make my tea and like do that. So I think I just kind of got a late start. So I'm super excited because I have some like I just have started having a lot of video ideas so I'm really excited about that for you guys and so I'm going to okay yeah that looks good and I'm very glad because I feel like I put less sunscreen on one thing I noticed was that like I felt really tired yesterday and I just honestly to be honest I did feel like it was because I put the sunscreen on and I just I don't know, I felt like it was because of the sunscreen and a lot, I mean, same thing, it's like when you put makeup on your face, a lot of times, at least for women, like, I feel, I don't know if you guys feel this way, I feel this way, like, I will feel so tired by the end of the day when I wear makeup that I'm just like, okay, I need to get this off my face, and so I, um, go ahead and like I'm so ready to take it off, but I, um, like, and that's how I was feeling, like, so I actually took it off, like, a lot, like, I took it off maybe around, like, five or six something, um, I just, like, 
was so ready to take it off. So I am super excited to continue testing this out. And one thing I will say is like, although I noticed the smell when I first put it on, I was super excited that my boyfriend came to visit yesterday and he did not notice the smell at all. Like, and I kept asking him because I like, he was probably like, why are you bothering me about the smell so much? But I just was so curious if he noticed the smell and he did not notice it at all. He did not notice the smell. So I will say that like wearing this around, like people are not going to pick up on like the lavender. And so it's probably just like, you know, when you first put it on, like I know like when I put banana boat on, like when I used to put that on, I would always notice the smell and I would even notice it like for days afterward. And that's one thing I always hated about banana boat. Like, I mean, it's like not that banana boat smells like bad. It's just that like that feeling of like you just want to get the sunscreen off and be done with it. And once you're like, don't need to use it anymore. So I'm going to test this out again and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's the last day of me trying out the sunscreen. And so I am going to put it on. I am volunteering today and the place is doing like curbside. So we put everything in the bag for them and then we take it outside. So I figured I would put some sunscreen on since I'll be being outside some. And so I am going to put some sunscreen on my face. Although um, part of like the requirements for like how you have to dress for the place is to wear um, like, a, you know, we have to wear like a shirt that actually says the name of the place. So I'm volunteering at Goochling Cares because that's, as you can see, that's the name of the place. And, um, and then I'm also, um, you're required to wear like jeans. Um, or like if you're actually working, like if you're like an intern, like I was an intern there once, um, you would be wearing like professional clothes, but like in the food pantry or the clothes closet, you would wear um, more like jeans, but that's just because you're gonna get down and dirty and you know, probably be doing stuff that is gonna get your clothes messy. So you're gonna be, wanna be more willing to wear, um, Stuff that you're willing to get dirty and then of course closed toed shoes so I just figured I would put sunscreen on my face just in case I get a little sunburnt from the sun uh, I probably put too much sunscreen on but that's okay I'll just try to rub it in some as much as I can and I can always take a little bit of it off, like, you know, whatever. <laughs> so I can't wait to come back tomorrow and let you know how I like each of the sunscreens that I've tried out and which one I would say I prefer. And I would say so far, this particular sunscreen, I don't know if like maybe just like lately like my sleep is different or like something about my skin is different and maybe that's why everybody is noticing something on my eyes or my face or if it's a sunscreen, I like have no idea. But um, yesterday my mom actually commented about my face or another day that I put the sunscreen on and then of course I've had my boyfriend comment on it and I'm like no I have not put anything on my face besides sunscreen I mean I don't know what <laughs> just one of those things where you're like I don't get you people right now <laughs> so I will see you guys tomorrow and I hope you guys have a good day and see you later. Hey guys, so I am wrapping up 
the video on trying out sunscreens and I wanted to give you my opinions on them. I would say both of them worked really well and Badger in particular was very waterproof. I was able to get in the ocean and swim around and it stayed on for a long period of time and I only reapplied once so I definitely felt like that one worked really well. I would say though that because it has beeswax in it that if someone is a vegan that is a very controversial um, topic in the vegan world so you are gonna have vegans who would not want to buy Badger or any sunscreen that has beeswax in it for that aspect but I mean it just kind of depends on the person some people are more okay with ethical honey and beeswax whereas some people are just refused to use it and then I also like that Badger was thin and so you could go a long way with it and I also like that it came in a recyclable container and had a lot of certification and I like that Elevated was the glass like was actually surprisingly not as heavy as I thought it would be which I really loved because I actually like in the past have not wanted to try it for the sake that I thought the glass would be just too much for carrying around and so I was happy to see that it was actually not so bad and so that was one thing I was very satisfied with and they have a lot of good certifications and then of course they're vegan which I have found it very hard to find like a vegan um, sunscreen so that was something that I liked about that one it did smell like lavender though when I put it on so and I'm not a big lavender fan I know a lot of people like lavender but I'm not and so it was kind of like took some getting used to but I like when I'm wearing it it doesn't smell like lavender which was interesting and one thing I did notice about it though was that people seemed to like notice that I was wearing it and I don't know if that meant that like I was just like you know put too much on or if I just like you know if it was just me I also like have like you know tan skin so I don't know if that just you know if it just comes from me and like I put the sunscreen on and like it just made my like skin more like it more noticeable I have no idea but I was a little like you know weirded out because I don't wear makeup very often so I was just kind of like what why are you commenting on my face <laughs> and so I also like that um I would say that I did like that it like stayed on very well and it you know did not like you know get like did find though that by the end of the day like if I was tired or just had been wearing it a long time a lot of times I would want to wash my face by the end of the day but I feel like when you're wearing sunscreen you just always want to do that because sunscreen just starts to feel really heavy and like I mean because even when I would wear a banana boat when I wasn't vegan or like any kind of sunscreen I feel like you know you just eventually like or just like get this off of me and so you like take a shower or you know wash your face and like sometimes you even still feel like it's on you and that was like my problem with previous sunscreens like banana boat or anything like that and so I like that with both of these sunscreens that you know I would take it off and it was you know gone it really didn't feel like it was still there I mean maybe you could like kind of feel it a little bit just because like I mean it is like does have that like little bit of like an oil like you know lotiony feel so it's like and you're gonna like feel it a little bit but like overall it was nothing like banana boat where I just felt like I smelled like it for days so I did like that and um, so I think it's all in what you want and what you would prefer I would probably get both of these again I definitely think I would go for the vegan one though um but like if I 
liked them both just because I am not like, you know, I'm still, I would say I'm like still like I'm learning. I'm still working on being vegan. So I don't think that I would like, you know, care as much. And I just like choose not to use honey. So I'm also going to link a video below about, um, like why beeswax is considered not vegan just in case you do want to like look at it because I have a very hard time explaining it and I feel like I end up just making people confused even more and so I you know hope you guys have a good day and I hope you enjoy this video because it did take a lot more work and I like ended up deciding to go above and beyond and so I hope you enjoyed it.